Good morning, YouTube modeling community. Uh, Rick and Cletus coming at you from the Heartbeat Model Shop. Uh, what's going on out there, guys? Uh, just want to give you a shop update. Uh, let's see, where should I begin? Uh, uh, guys, when I made my last video, it was toward the end of uh, October, uh, right at the very end of October. At that time, uh, I was uh, having problems with my sciatic nerve. And uh, for a couple of previous weeks before that, even at Model Palooza, I even had to leave a little early because it was kind of hurting so bad. Uh, hey man, but you know how those guys are, man. I just kept on working at work and and putting stuff on it and taking and eating Advil and uh, hoping it was going to get better. And that final weekend in October, uh, man, I, I I couldn't even hardly walk. Uh, so, uh, I spent the next two weeks, first two weeks in, uh, September, uh, just kind of laying around the house, uh, thought maybe if I stayed off my feet for a while that, uh, you know, I might end up getting better, and, uh, for that first couple weeks, uh, made about eight trips to the chiropractor, and it just wasn't getting any better, and finally decided I needed to get an MRI done, so we got an MRI done, come to find out we kind of had a bulging disc, uh, I think they called it like L5, S1, something like that. Uh, and I was going to need surgery. So uh, two weeks ago tomorrow, I had surgery 6 o'clock in the morning on my back. And uh, like I say, it'll be two weeks tomorrow. I got my two-week update. And to be honest with you, it's only been the last couple of days that I've actually been able to even thinking about doing anything in the Heartbeat Model Shop. Uh, so we just kind of been puttering uh, just off and on a little bit here and there, depending on how long I can sit down. I mean, I am doing a lot better. It is a lot better. Uh, matter of fact, I was doing so good, I, I decided yesterday I had already signed up for a car show here like 10 miles down the road at a uh, auto dealership, Van Ganaway Chevrolet, and I already pre-registered and all that stuff, and I told my wife, I said, you know what, I I'm going to go. Um, I just took a pain pill and, uh, and, uh, jumped in the, uh, jumped in my, in my Camaro and we went to the, went to the car show there, met up with a lot of members in my car club, classic Camaro Central Florida, and I just sat all day, uh, the leg did great, uh, not too much pain, and it just felt good to get outside because I'd kind of been stuck in the house other than going to the doctors or the hospital for like six weeks, man, I had to get out, so, uh. We made it through that pretty good, and uh, woke up this morning, and the leg's a little sore from doing the shifting on the clutch and all that, but I tell you what, it was it was worth every minute of it. Uh, so uh, we decided we would try to do a, a video this morning to get you guys caught up. Uh, I know it's been about six or seven weeks, and uh, just figure I better just give a little update, let you guys know that I'm still here, I'm still fighting, <laughs> and uh, hopefully it will be, I got a two-week checkup tomorrow. Hopefully they're going to um, okay me to ride to Atlanta. I don't think they're going to let me drive. Uh, but my good buddy and friend Tom, Rambler69, has offered me a ride with him and uh, Dave from England. And uh, if I get the okay from the doctor to ride up, uh, I am going to still make it to Atlanta, guys. Uh, I didn't get any of my projects done. I was trying to do for Atlanta. Um, I didn't get my panel wagon done. I didn't get uh, I didn't get the Nova done. Uh, so I, if I bring anything at all, it may have to be something that I've that I've done this past year. Uh, maybe just a couple box stock uh, vehicles to put in the box stock class. Just to uh, we'll just have to wait and see how I feel, and then and make sure that the doctor will okay me riding up to Atlanta. So I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. Hopefully, we'll get to come to Atlanta. Uh, so, uh, I'm so looking forward to it, meeting everybody and all that, uh, so I, I, th I think I'll be good. Uh, let's see, what else have I accomplished the last couple of days? Uh, Heath, Southern Fried Rod Shop, buddy. Uh, well, I actually guess it's Papa Dan and Caleb Snap To It kit, uh, challenge. Uh, my wife had actually bought me the, uh, Snap Tight Camaro Concept car, and I tried, uh, over the last... Last couple of weeks, I'd do a little bit here, a little bit there, kind of half laying down, 
you know, like I said, I, I, I didn't do anything fancy to it, guys. I just, uh, I just wanted to get it done uh, uh, so I could get it. I wanted to do like some of you guys are doing and Heath, Southern Fried Rod Shop buddy. I wanted to get this done so I could get it sent off to St. Jude's. Um, I didn't do any painting on it. Uh, I decided not to put on the stick-on decals. I was afraid maybe a kid might try to peel them off or something, and I didn't want any anybody trying to you know eat and uh, any stick-on decals. So, so Heath, I just did it just stock. Uh, like I said, of course it does roll. It's just uh, I just just put her together. Try to leave things off from it that a uh, that a child might try to take off or whatever. So uh, uh, we we got that done. We're gonna try to get that mailed out this week to to St. Jude's. Uh, Heath, it was super ideal, buddy. I I, I wish I'd have got her done a little sooner. Uh, Papa Dan, um, sorry it took me so long to get it done, buddy. But uh, for the uh, for you and Kate to snap to it for Chris Chapman. Uh, but I thought that was a super idea that uh, Heath come up with, so I wanted to be a part of that. So uh, we'll get this mailed out, Heath, this week to uh, St. Jude's. Uh, other than that, guys, um, like I said, I didn't I didn't get the Nova project done in time. I don't think I get her done in time for Atlanta. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know what I'm going well, I'm going to be able to get done, but. Uh, uh, Finally got it the third or fourth time painting it. I, it looks okay. I don't think it's good enough for, I mean, not that uh, it's got any marks or anything, but I just don't think it's good enough for uh, Atlanta. Uh, I don't want to rush and, and get it put together, but uh, it's just box stock. Uh, I did try for the first time. I did the window trim with the, uh, with the silver Sharpie. Uh, just to have the way I was going to attempt uh, bare metal fork, especially how long it took me to get the body painted. I didn't want to have to bare metal, run the what paint I did get done on it. Um, like I say, we just it's just box stock. Uh, did the front trim. I'm pretty happy with it. I didn't get any on the bread paint and uh, kind of stayed in line pretty good. Uh, like I say, bottom is is box stock. Uh, just painted up some uh, rear end parts and the buffers and the gas tank stuff like that. So um, happy with it so far. Uh, we've got the uh, I got still got to put the grill in. The grill is done. Got it black washed. Uh, got it ready to go. Uh, got the uh, rear bumper and tail light assembly. We got that done. Going to try to get that. I'm going to try to get that put in today. Um, so that's what we got done on that, guys. <clears throat> uh, the other night, I walked up here the other night and decided I uh, had been watching a lot of videos on rusting. And I wanted, like I said, the first time I did this, remember, I couldn't get the salt to come off. I mean, I had to purple pond it. I don't have any idea what I did wrong the first time, but I did it the same way the second time. And this is what we got so far. I, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if you ever, versus you go too far or not far enough or... But uh, that's what we got done so far on the first round of the uh, uh, salt technique. So I'm I'm assuming, if I remember correctly, on uh, uh, Dr. Cranky's video, stuff like that, if I want to keep what I've already got, then you put on a coat of dull coat, I think, and then you can go further on, if I'm not mistaken. So I, I don't know if it's enough, too much. I may just leave it like that for now, or maybe just try to do a couple of spots. I haven't done the hood yet, and I'm going to do a different color door and tailgate, but uh, but that's what we've got done so far on the uh, on my first or second attempt at, at salting. So, um, Other than that, guys, uh, just steady at it, trying to, to recover and uh, recuperate and, um, uh, and uh, get better here so I can get back to work. I haven't been to work in six weeks, like I said, and that's kind of that's kind of getting tough. Uh, the only other good good thing, and I, I'm not sure whether I'm supposed to show it or not, but I got my Dr. Cranky calendar in, and I am just so proud, so tickled to death that I'll just show it quick. Uh, my 32.5 window made it into Dr. Cranky's 2016 calendar. I'm tickled to death. I'm speechless. I'm, I'm just uh, <laughs> like a kid with a new toy, just excited. 
And uh, so that was some good news that made me feel made me feel better. Uh, I think I got it calendar yes no not yesterday but day before I think I got it on Friday so that made me feel better so uh, guys we're gonna keep struggling at it uh, we're gonna get better and uh, I mean I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing from uh, after if I get the Nova done uh, next couple of days I have no idea what I'm gonna do other than I just started on the rusting thing uh, like I said I'm not gonna get my panel truck done I'm not gonna get my 29 done for Atlanta uh, just I just don't have enough time, and I'm not going to try to uh, rush it. Just uh, I'm just going to concentrate at the moment, just putter a little bit when I can, and then uh, uh, just just get done what I can, and then I'll get better, and then I'll we'll get back into the swing of things. Hopefully, here in, a, in, a, in another couple, maybe it might take me to the first year before I get really back in. But I'll try to make it to where it's not six or six or seven weeks before I do an update. So. Uh, I guess that's it, guys. Uh, today is Sunday. Shoot, I haven't even changed my calendar from, from, uh, to November. So that's, that tells you how long it's been since I've been up here. So uh, I think today is like the 8th. It's Sunday. Uh, so I uh, just want to wish everybody have. Hope you all have a great day today. Uh, hopefully I'll be in Atlanta. I'm keeping my fingers crossed, guys. Uh, so uh, uh, as usual here from Hot, Heartbeat Model Shop in Cletus, uh, we wish everybody a great week, a safe week. Be careful, and uh, we'll we'll be back up here at it, guys. Hopefully here in no time soon. Uh, like I said, I'll, I'll try not to make it uh, too long in between update videos now that I'm feeling a little better, and then um, uh, we'll get started on something again. We'll jump in. Well, we got three or four things done that uh, we were going to try and finish for the end of the year. But well, we're definitely not going to get those done now. So. Uh, we're going we're gonna to work on it, guys. Uh, thanks again to all my subscribers, uh, all the guys out there that give me information. Thanks again, Tom, Rammer69, for uh, offering that ride to Atlanta. And I'm, I'm hoping, Lord willing, that I'll be able to make it because I'm looking so forward to it, uh, to meeting all you guys. And, and uh, so uh, uh, from Cletus and Rick here in the Heartbeat Model Shop, guys, have a great, great, great Sunday. And uh, we will catch you later.